Um, I, I also want you to talk about this journey of letting go of the need to constantly improve because self-improvement, personal growth, like people get into it because yeah, it's good to like improve, but it can be taken to the extreme or it can be based on your ego or your self-worth. Um, let's talk about that. Yeah, I definitely think that um, untying your self-worth to how much you work and how much you achieve really begins with inner child healing, which is, I think, becoming a lot more mainstream. And I'm so grateful because all of us have a really damaged, broken, scared child inside of us that is doing everything they possibly can to make themselves feel safe. And that's going to manifest in different ways. For a lot of us, it does manifest as work. Um, And what keeps us from questioning it for so long is that constant rewarding of it in the culture, right? But we also deal with that in really quote unquote negative ways. You know, people will deal with that through drug abuse, um, any substance abuse, um, through their relationships. So it really begins when you start to uncover okay, what part of me learned that I wouldn't feel safe unless I did all this stuff? And it's going to take a little while, right? It's it's uncomfortable at first and awkward kind of communing with that inner part of you, but maybe it's going into a deep meditation or having a conversation with someone from your past and realizing, oh, when I was 13, my mom was vividly angry with me because I didn't get these awards at school for like my grades. I'll never forget, I had an award ceremony where they basically awarded the top 10 students of every class and subject. And I got one, I got the English award. And I remember getting into the car and being like, she was, she was mad. I remember wow. after um, actually getting up from the audience, looking around and scanning to see my mom, she was not there. And all of the other parents were reuniting with their kids and being like, congratulations, even to the ones who didn't like get anything. Um, they were graduating congratulating them. And then I got into my car and um, my mom did not say a word. And on the way home, I said, at least I got one. Nothing, nothing. And then we get home and she pulls into the driveway and then I start to walk inside and she's like, you stay out here. And I'm like, okay, weird. And then she comes out and she has this huge stack of glass plates And just literally starts hurling them at the ground. Oh, my God. In just sheer anger, a literal tantrum. And so in that moment, I went into like a freeze nervous system response. I was like, I don't know. I'm so scared. She's so mad. And then I eventually shifted into what I now recognize as the flight nervous system response, which was how can I get away from this feeling, which I started Um, which I started nurturing through like doing, doing, doing. Mm. And I didn't know that's where it started until I did a really deep hypnosis actually last year, Mm -hmm. two years ago. Two years ago, I did a really deep hypnosis and uncovered this because this was like a memory I just completely had blacked out. Mm. And it was such a core memory. I was so scared. And so I learned in that moment, unconsciously, I associated, okay, never do that again. You know, never don't achieve. If you don't achieve, your mom will be upset with you. And that would mean fear. That would danger, literally danger. And, you know, to the logical mind, the reason why healing can be so difficult is you might recall a memory and think, oh, but that's so long ago. Like who cares? You know, that didn't mean anything. And you might even try to defend your mom. I did that too, where I was like, oh, she was just, you know, she was just stressed and in a bad mood. But then I'm not honoring the part of me that literally thought of that threat. My nervous system thought that Mm -hmm. was a tiger, Yeah, right? It didn't know that this was just, you know, some stupid seventh grade award ceremony to the body. I was actually in the face of a perceived threat. And so I learned early on unconsciously, okay, we're never ever going to let that happen again. We are going to achieve every possible achievement we possibly can. Mm -hmm. And as a way of safety. Yeah. As a way of safety. Yeah. Wow. That's incredible. I mean, it's, I mean, not what happened to you, but it's to like recognize that, especially if it was like a blacked out memory, like that's, that's so healing to be able to reach that point. Yeah. And I think inner child healing is really daunting for so many people because they're a bit afraid of what they're going to uncover. Right. But go into that, right? Because whatever you are scared to uncover has been suppressed, Mm -hmm. right? Because 
you becoming aware of it is actually its release. It's a sign that it's leaving the body now. Um, It's leaving your awareness. And so you will actually start to unearth things and recall certain memories. And you might think, oh, no, no, this is coming up and I don't want it. I don't want this. I don't want to experience this again. But no, it's coming up because you're recognizing it. It's trying to be released now. 